Hey, what's up folks? I wanna take a minute to tell you about my sight plate. Okay, so I designed this plate for the MOS series Glocks. Uh, what it does is allows you to have an emergency co-witness to some iron sights, okay? Uh, oftentimes I've described backup iron sights as vision blockers. Uh, one of the really big benefits of shooting a red dot sight is more visual information, cleaner information that's unobstructed. Uh, if you can see all the way through the window, see the whole field of view through the window, that offers more information coming into the shooter so that your mind, your eyes can feed your mind and your mind can process that information and provide the right kind of outputs faster, sooner, okay? Um, in most cases, um, with the way dots are mounted on pistols that also have iron sights, backup iron sights, um, they usually, those sights usually end up restricting a lot of the view through the window, kind of taking away a lot of the advantages, most of the advantages actually, of the dot, okay? Uh, so what I wanted to offer was, you know, an opportunity or a way uh, for folks that needed you know, an extra set of sights in case something happened to their iron sight there. And I'm not, I'm not against having, you know, secondary means of doing things, you know. Um, you know, as a Greenberry, I absolutely understand what a pace plan is, okay. Uh, but I absolutely disagree with having alternate ways or backup ways of doing something that interfere with the optimalness, if that's a word, uh, of the primary means, okay. So the primary means of shooting this pistol is that red dot sight, okay? That red dot sight offers a ton of advantage to a shooter, okay? If you also need, okay, or may need an alternate way to aim the pistol, do not take away from all the primary benefits you get from having that red dot sight on there, okay? Most ways, most ways that red dots and iron sights are set up on pistols are very similar to having your spare tire on your car, but mounting on the windshield because it restricts, you wouldn't do that, all right? You wouldn't mount the spare tire on your car on your windshield. Hey, you may need a spare tire sometime down the road, but you do need to look through that windshield to be able to see the information out there on the road so you can react to it. You do need to see all the information that's available through the window of this optic. You may need those iron sights, okay? So I developed this plate so they could give you everything that you need, give you all of the advantages that are available there to you as or from the red dot, but also give you that backup means, that emergency means to aim your pistol, okay? Um, the sight or the plate, you can read the specs on the website there, uh, but the plate is set up so that it raises the dot up a little bit higher, raises the whole optic up a little bit higher. So standard, um, you know, uh, suppressor height, night sights that, that come in a lot of the Glocks or that most folks put on there. Once again, you can find all the specs on the website there. Uh, what this plate will do is either, will either put a hollow sun or an RMR up higher so that you can still see. If you need to aim through or aim with the iron sights, you can see them, but they're at the very, very bottom. Okay, they don't really block a lot of the window and they're just sticking up above, just above the base of the optic itself. Okay, um, so it's a solution. Uh, other things that are put in there too, 100% believe as a shooter from experience, from actually shooting the guns, that weight matters. Okay, weight makes it on a gun that's not compensated. Weight in the slide soaks up recoil. You know, people can tell you whatever they want to tell you. All right, from a shooter standpoint, if you go out and shoot a really light slotted pistol and a heavier slide pistol and everything else is same, same ammo, everything else, the slide that's heavier will absorb recoil to a degree and make it easier for you as a shooter to work, okay? So this plate's also made out of steel, okay? It's made out of steel. It's um, nitride coated. These are actually DLC coated very close, same, same, it's not gonna corrode. Um, but that little bit of weight also helps. Uh, there's tons of thread engagement. With the plate being thicker, it offers a ton of thread engagement. Built it, designed it, so that it uses all the screws that you already have, okay? The long screws that hold your, like if you buy a Glock MOS gun, the long screws that hold the cover plate on there, those will lock this plate onto the slide. You can check out the specs on the website and see how much thread engagement that there is there, but it's a lot, okay? Uh, also, with the plate being thicker and being made out of steel, 
the standard screws that come with the RMR or definitely the ones that come with the hollow sun offer tons of thread engagement and they ain't going nowhere. Okay. Um, do recommend that you put some Loctite on there. I dig on the blue Loctite stuff. I've got specs for that on the, on the website there, but there you go. Uh, there's, there's the uh, Glock 17, you know, um, by the way, this is the flattest shooting pistol ever invented. It's got flat technology in it. I'm joking about that, right? P people will tell you that pistols are flat. Pistols aren't flat. Shooters are flat, okay? Um, but this is just a Glock 17 with some um, backup iron sights on there or suppressor sights or whatever you want to call them, but they're not vision blockers anymore. Uh, my plate and RMR, okay? It offers a lot of, uh, as you saw there, it offers a lot of field of view for the shooter to process information and go a little bit faster and good, clean information. Um, one other benefit, since we're talking about it, one other thing that uh, this plate being a little bit higher allows, you know, people will call these suppressor height sights, right? Well, most of the mounts out there for a red dot, if you actually screw a suppressor on the pistol, you can't aim the gun. The dot's looking at the back of the suppressor. Okay, well this one being a little bit higher, that puts it above, puts the dot up there above the suppressor so you can actually aim the gun when you have a suppressor on the pistol. Okay, pretty beneficial. Okay, um, what else? Oh, um, I know out there in, um, you know, the industry, and I'm not an industry guy, man, I'm a shooter. Okay, um, I've designed some parts because, you know, as a shooter, I think there's a better way for something to happen. You know, my first job in the Army, I was a mechanic, um, kind of mechanically inclined. You know, as I started shooting guns, you know, it was like, hey, this tool could make it easier for me to do what it is I need to do. So that's why I design parts and products, you know, because I'm a shooter and I want something a little bit better for myself. And I think other people will do it too. Uh, so I'm not an industry guy. Um, but out there in the... Uh, in the industry, you know, you will see like, hey, let's lower, let's get the sight as low as possible to the bore. Okay, here's what I would have you explore for yourself as a shooter and as a human being, okay? Um, just observe the next time you're around a group of people at uh, their head positioning, okay? See if you notice like the angle of their chin to the ground. See if it's kind of like perpendicular. All right, see if maybe our heads are generally, my bad, <laughs> chin's generally parallel to the ground and our head's generally perpendicular to our shoulders, okay? That's how we, as humans, are built to receive visual information. Our eyes work pretty good that way, okay? Um, and if you also take notice um, how your eyes are centered up in your eye sockets, okay? When your chin's parallel to the ground and your head's perpendicular to your shoulders, your field of view, your look, your eyes are centered up in your eye sockets and you're looking kind of straight ahead and you got a lot of field of view, okay? If you dip your chin, which is what a lot of people do when they shoot pistols or carbines, if you dip your chin, A, you take away a lot of visual information you could see, okay? You just take that away, you just throw that away, basically. Um, I'm gonna tell you, as a shooter, you need to see things in order to be able to react to them. You can't shoot anything that you can't see. If you're in a combat shooting situation, or some folks would call it a tactical shooting situation, um, processing speed matters. You know, gun handling skills, you know, shooting ability, heck yeah, that's awesome. But if you can't see things and process them and make decisions about them, you can't do anything with them. Okay, so having the information helps. So dipping your chin takes away information. I don't know if that's the best plan you could probably put together. Probably something better like keeping your chin up, stay neutral with your head so you can pull in all the information you're built to receive, okay? Well, if you lower the sight on a pistol way down into the bore, okay? Typically what we do as shooters, we mount the guns somewhere even with the top of our shoulders because that's kind of the highest portion of mass we have and you know, it just kind of seems like it makes sense or sometimes we've been taught that way, okay? Now in order to aim your pistol, you have to dip your chin in order to see through the sights. We just talked about how much information that takes away. That's not good for you, it ain't good for nobody, you know? Um, so the lower, talking a lot here, okay? Um, but the lower, I'm kind of passionate about this stuff, by the way, I could talk for probably about 12 days on it, but the lower you put your sight to the bore in order to aim the gun, put yourself in a decent place to recoil or control recoil the gun, you're gonna have to dip that chin even lower and lower and lower and take away visual information. 
okay so what we did with this plate what i did with this plate was mount it mounting the dot a little bit higher also allows you to keep that chin a little bit more neutral and see through the middle of the dot as a technique and i've got this stuff out there on some of my training videos as well and we can talk about it in class too if you want to as a technique too i do recommend keeping your chin neutral keeping your head neutral and mounting the pistol just a little bit higher if you use all the other tools that you have available to you as a human being we get that or a human machine you absolutely can manage the recoil of the pistol pretty decently okay i just showed you i ain't making it up all right man that's uh that's some of what i have to say about shooting there's a little bit of a rundown on this uh plate here Go check out my website, frankproctorshooting.com. Take a look at the plate and you can see a few more of the specs and see if it's a solution for you.